Hi everybody and welcome to Monday Morning Manifestation. I'm Coach Elizabeth and I'm ready to get started with this week's topic. I've got my coffee ready to go. I hope I don't spill it during this video. Um, today I wanted to talk about competition. Um, for a long time I thought that competition was essential to success. It was a dog-eat-dog -dog business world out there, and if I didn't take it, somebody else was gonna get it, and then there would be nothing left for me, right? Whether it was a job promotion, I used to compete with my coworkers, and I mean, sometimes that's fun. I don't really know if there's such a thing as healthy competition. I don't know that I believe in that anymore, but basically for my entire career, uh, I was taught that being super aggressive was a great asset. I mean, I used to lead in interviews by saying that I was a very sore loser. So I made sure that I didn't lose. And I would basically do anything I needed to do to take away from the competition's share in whatever category I was selling. I used to sell all sorts of stuff. I sold vitamin water, I sold pirate's booty, I sold skincare, and I had lots of fun and I thrived off that. I loved competing. Um, I loved competing with friends. I loved competing with my sister, which I'm sure she's watching this. I love you, Kate. Um, but if I'm really honest with myself, I competed with everybody and I competed with myself a lot too. It was how much better can you get at this? And I would raise the bar of what I thought was acceptable for myself. Um, and it didn't end up really resulting in the best stuff, right? Sure. Did I make big sales bonuses? I'm proud to say I did, but am I proud to say how I got there? Probably not, because it was fueled by this energy of competition. So when I kind of started on my path towards self-discovery and some people call it enlightenment, whatever you want to call it, um, one staple on my bookshelf back there was Eckhart Tolle. This is The Power of Now. He's also got a really great book, um, A New Earth. I actually have two copies because they're so marked up, but they're incredible. They're not the easiest reads, but if you're up for a challenge, get started on it. Or you can watch Oprah did a 10 day series with him um, online, which I'm sure you can dig up somewhere. Or she did a super, couple of Super Soul Sundays with him. His name's Eckhart Tolle, I'll put it up here. Um, but what he says is that anytime we wanna compete with somebody, um, whether it's another mom on the playground, whether it's another guy on a flight that you're on and he's got, you know, a nicer suit than you, it looks custom, or he's in first class and you're not, anything like that, right? Um, it's really another way of judging them and judging ourselves. It's really judging us against somebody else, which is where this competition stems from. And he says that anytime that we're doing that, it's actually this thing called a pain body. So this is something that um, is created anytime you have trauma. So a lot of times when you're little, you know, in your adolescence or just in your childhood, you will have traumatic events happen to you. It's not a shot on anybody's parents. It's just shit that happens, right? Uh, you're inevitably going to get traumatized at some point. And if we don't really feel those emotions and let that energy pass through us as negative energy, um, it, it kind of festers within our soul, right? In our heart. And it feeds into this thing called the pain body. So whenever we see somebody else doing something we think is better than us, or they have more than us, or they're prettier than us, or whatever, and we start to feel that devil on your shoulder wanting to talk smack about them and cut them down, it's because something in our pain body has been triggered, right? So it's some old wound that somebody just walked up and dug their finger in, even if they don't know it, right? They could have just walked by you or given you a look that you didn't like that can trigger you and kind of set you off and it touches that nerve of the pain body. So what Eckhart says is that anytime we feel those emotions towards something or somebody, we're really supposed to sit with that. So I know you're saying, Elizabeth, that doesn't sound like fun. I don't want to sit with those shitty emotions. I just want to talk some smack and then move on. But the thing that happens when we smack talk and then we move on um, is that there's this negativity boomerang, right? So we're releasing this poison into this river of energy that inevitably we are going to drink from again at some point. It's gonna come back to you. So I learned this the hard way, I really did. I was really critical of other people and really critical of myself 
and was kind of proud of it. I had no problem. Just, I said, oh, I'm just really blunt. I'm just a straight shooter. Well, you know, it was a lot of negativity a lot of times and I know that that came back at me. Maybe not that day, maybe not that next day, you know, they say, but tomorrow or someday. Yeah, it will catch up with you. So the next time you feel that urge, maybe you're gonna feel it at some point this week, just know that it's totally natural and that it's just, it's not anything that person's doing or even anything you're doing. It's just that, that littler version of you when you were a child, something shitty happened to you and you probably didn't know how to deal with it. But now that we're adults, when that same feeling comes up, we need to just sit with it. We need to acknowledge it. We need to feel the pain, let it pass through us, and then hopefully we can release it and move on. And the more you do this, more I call it decluttering, the more you declutter these shitty things that happen to you, you're healing these traumas and overall you're gonna be a happier, nicer, better person. So that's my little bit of advice for you this week and anything by Eckhart Tolle you can get your hands on, Audible, anything is absolutely worth your time. So I love you, go out, have an amazing week and I'll see you next Monday.